I know my password is right, but I can't sign in. What do I do? Hi everyone, I'm Leo Notenboom for AskLeo.com. Man, if I had a nickel for every time I've had people claim this, they know, they absolutely know, they are convinced that they have typed in the correct username and password, and yet they can't log in. Let's have a look at an example question. Hi, my password has been the same for the last 10 years and suddenly I get a message that says password incorrect. What the hell? After a few attempts, it blocked all attempts and the question it asks is not what I filled in when I signed up. It asks me for my first dog's name and I know that I did not fill that in. I do know what secret question I am supposed to be asked. What do I do or do I just go to Gmail as most of my friends did when Hotmail started with their nonsense? Wow, right? I can understand the frustration, I really can, but you know what? It's not nonsense. It really is the service trying to protect account holders from the wrong person trying to get in. And unfortunately, it appears that that's exactly what happened here. My guess is that someone hacked into your account. First though, we got to start with the obvious because this is one of those things that nobody thinks of, but they're always embarrassed when it turns out to be the case. One, make sure the caps lock is off. If you have a caps lock key, try it the other way. Make sure that you are typing in the letters you think you're typing in. Uh, one way to do that so you can see what you're typing is to type your password into something like Notepad instead. Make sure that it's what you think it is and then copy paste it into the password field of wherever you're trying to sign in. That's a pretty quick way to make sure you really are typing in what you think you're typing in. The other scenario is also make sure you're typing in the right username. If you type in or mistype the username, be it an email address that you've mistyped or a, literally a username that is not the correct username off by a letter or two, you could be trying to log into someone else's account, right? That's what the username is all about. Well, their password is not your password, so of course it's going to fail. So do make sure you're trying to log into your account with the correct username or email address, and then do make sure you're typing in the correct password for real. So assuming that's not the case, uh, the scenario that you've outlined here where the password's not working and the secret question you're being asked is not what you expect, my money is on this being a hack. Your account has probably been hacked. And, and what's happened is the hacker has changed all the information associated with your account. They've changed your password. The password that you are so convinced is correct is no longer the password. It is no longer correct. It is no longer correct because the hacker changed it. The security questions that you're being asked are different because the hacker changed them. Whoever has access to your account went in and changed the answers to your security questions. They changed the very questions that were being used. They probably also went in and changed the recovery information. The only alternative you have in a situation like this is to go through the account recovery process for your Hotmail account and see if you can regain access. The best way to think of it is your account is no longer your account. Now, I do have an article that contains a bunch of the steps that you really need to walk through if you find yourself in this situation. It's called Email Hacked, Seven Things You Need to Do Now and it'll rock you through everything you need to do to recover the account and to make sure that this never ever happens again. I do wanna point out that it's very tempting to overlook some of the preventative steps that you might take once you regain access to your account. In my article, Is Changing My Password Enough? The answer is no. And in your case specifically, the answer is a resounding no, because you already know that they've changed your security questions. When you get access to your account and you've changed your password, you need to walk through and make sure that 
every bit of information stored in that account, your name, your address, your billing, your account recovery questions, your account recovery email addresses, your alternate email addresses, your phone numbers, all of that needs to be reviewed and potentially corrected to be set back to whatever you expect it to be. There is one straw I will throw out depending on how badly your account is hacked, and that is my article, How Do I Contact Outlook.com Customer Service? You can sometimes get additional help. There's not much. Remember, Outlook.com and Hotmail are free services, so there may not be a lot of help available. But what help there is available is available through the pointers that I have in that article. And to be clear, because I know that people are going to ask this again and again and again, my article, Would You Please Recover My Password? My account has been hacked or I've forgotten it, gives you a very clear answer. No, I cannot. I do not have the resources. I do not have the tools. And honestly, I don't have the assurity that you are who you say you are and you should be given access to the account. Only the service with which you have that account set up has the mechanisms in place to prove that you are who you say you are and should get access to the account. And if you can't prove you are who you say you are to their satisfaction, you may not get the account back. So keeping this from happening again, well, I do have an article, 12 Steps to Keep from Getting Your Account Hacked, that really does walk through a number of the things, be it from long and strong and unique passwords to two-factor authentication to recovery information and more that you need to take to make sure that this never, ever happens to your account again. It does take a little bit of effort, but as you can see, losing your account can, in fact, be a lot more effort. Investing upfront in preventative measures will probably save you a lot of time in the future. Internet safety, seven steps to keeping your computer safe on the internet, takes it to the next level. It's more than just your account. It is really your entire online experience that you probably want to make sure is secure and safe and private. I cannot resist saying that one thing I'm sure didn't help is using the same password for 10 years. I'm not a fan of automated password changes. Changing it every six months or according to some corporate standard, probably not a good thing, not necessary and causes people to take steps that they don't need to take. But after 10 years, what was a secure password 10 years ago probably isn't anymore. My guess is you've got an eight character password and that may be how the hackers were able to get in. It is definitely worth reviewing your password hygiene to make sure that not only your current passwords are long and strong, 14, 16, or 20 characters and random, and that you're not using the same password on other sites. These are both critical steps you need to take to make sure that your password isn't exposed and that your accounts are not compromised. A couple of final thoughts. Like I said earlier, using Hotmail, using Outlook.com, using Gmail, these are free services. Are free services worth it is a very valid question. And it's valid at times like this. When you run into a problem, you will find that you're getting exactly what you paid for and you paid nothing. So it's very possible that when something happens to your account for free services, you may not get the account back. You may not get the help you need to recover something that could potentially be very, very important to you. So please consider whether you're using the right service to begin with. And finally, there is an article I wrote a long time ago. Um, it is something that your question or rather the style of your question caused me to think of, and that is simply this. Why is everyone on the internet so grumpy? Honestly, typing in all caps, it's really, really difficult for someone reading it to not feel like they're being yelled at. I get it. There are reasons that you may need to type in all caps. Please find a different solution for those reasons. The fact is you can change what you do. You may be able to find other solutions for the reason you're typing in all caps, but you cannot change the way that people will read your message. 
all caps is considered shouting and you just yelled your question at me. It was difficult to read. I hope that was helpful for the article on which this was based for all of the links and more that I've talked about. For additional related links, for comments and for updates, visit askleo.com slash 15079. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.